right? So just like we talked about how the um, energy resources are in high demand, but not so great of supply, uh, minerals are also in high demand, but not so great of a supply. All right, so how long will these resources last? Remember, they are non-renewable -renew resources. That's because these resources took thousands to millions of years to form, but we are using them up much, much quicker than that. So for example, the average citizen of an industrialized country uses about 20 kilograms of aluminum, 10 kilograms of copper, 500 kil kilograms of iron and steel in a year's time. So if you were to sum up consumption over a lifetime, uh, over your lifetime, and add it to the weight of fossil fuels used, the average citizen in the United States will use 1.9 to 1.5 million kilograms, that's almost 3 million pounds of earth materials in a lifetime. You will use 3 million pounds of earth materials in a lifetime. We require a lot. We are very needy. We require a lot of earth resources. But mineral resources are non-renewable. So once they're mined, they basically disappear forever, right? Because they take so long to create. So natural geologic processes do not happen fast enough to re replace these deposits as quickly as we use them. So geologists have calculated reservoirs, which are the known quantities of these mineral resources. Um, and they have found that we are depleting our reservoirs very, very quickly. Um, so based on the current definitions of reservoirs, right, the current amount of these materials that we know to be in the earth, where to find it, um, which, you know, depend on today's prices, rates of consumption, supplies of the mineral, all of that stuff, you do that math, and we find that a lot of these resources are going to run out in decades to centuries. Now, these estimates might change as we find more and more minerals, as our extraction processes become better, um, right, when we're able to extract more, these numbers can change, but assuming the current reservoirs and the current amount of uh, the rate that we are using, we are going to run out of iron in 40 years, copper, lead, 40 years, some um, minerals like cobalt, nickel, platinum, aluminum, we're going to run out right, in just a year or so if we don't continue to develop um, how we are able to extract these resources, right? which is one of the reasons that geologists get paid a lot of money because geologists are necessary to keep our modern technological society running.